Welcome to the Edge of AI podcast. Stick around for five minutes and get your dose of current events in today's Edge of AI Dispatch segment, which is powered by Metaverse Post. This is your source for the latest news in cutting edge tech and AI. Today, we dive into the launch of Adobe's Firefly 2, Klarna's AI-driven shopping app, and China's rising demand for AI talent. Russian technology firm Astra, they raised three and a half billion rubles. Well, how much is that? It's 35.9 million US dollars equivalent. And that was in its IPO on the Moscow exchange. The company priced its shares at $3.40 each, listing 10.5 million shares. Astra, they specialize in AI and data software solutions with Russian government entities and state-run enterprises being its noteworthy clients. The company rose to prominence with its easy to use Astra Linux operating system. The recent IPO outcome has now increased the firm's market valuation to $71.94 million. AI software development startup AnySphere, they recently raised $8 million in seed funding, which was led by OpenA's startup fund with participation from former GitHub CEO, Nat Friedman and Dropbox co-founder Arash Ferdowsi and other angel investors as well. The company has raised a total of $11 million, which will be put toward hiring and supporting AnySphere's AI and machine learning research. The company's AI-driven code editing platform, Cursor, features generative AI capabilities powered by OpenAI models that allows users to generate code from prompt. In the coming months, the company aims to improve Cursor at finding code and learning new libraries from documentation. Content marketing platform, Isu, issued a new AI-powered add-on for Adobe Express that enables AI-driven content creation, publishing, and data analytics for content creators and marketers worldwide. Announced at Adobe's annual conference, Max, which is held in Los Angeles last week, Isu said that all Express users can leverage the add-on's AI-powered features for content expansion, including generating mobile-optimized articles. The platform will also offer content performance-based data analytics by harnessing Isu's built-in data statistics tools. In a conversation with Metaverse Post, Joe Herkin, CEO of Issue, said that AI-powered tools coupled with well-integrated solutions can reduce the time for content publication and analysis to minutes. Likewise, Adobe announced that it has updated the AI models that power Firefly, its generative AI image creation service. According to Adobe, the new Firefly Image 2 model is better at rendering human features. That includes face, skin, body, and hands. The company also said that Firefly's users have generated 3 billion images since the service launched about a half a year ago, with 1 billion images generated in September alone of this year. The new model has been trained on recent images from Adobe stock and other commercially safe sources and is significantly larger in size than its previous versions. Tech and AI companies in Israel, they're ramping up their security measures as tensions rise. The Israeli tech industry is grappling with concerns due to a series of deadly attacks by Hamas militants. According to a report by Reuters, Israeli tech and AI sectors are experiencing disruptions in their normal operations, resulting in business closures. Intel Corp, which is Israeli's largest private employer and exporter, is closely monitoring the situation and taking measures to support its workers in the country. Meanwhile, NVIDIA has canceled its AI summit in Tel Aviv, where CEO Jensen Huang was scheduled to speak. Swedish fintech company Klarna launched an AI-driven shopping app in collaboration with OpenAI. The tool enables users to buy products directly from photos that they click with their mobile devices. Klarna aims to make shopping convenient by converting images into purchasable items through its mobile app. The AI shopping app can recognize over 10 million diverse products, including clothing, home decor, and electronics. It also provides insights like price comparisons, retailer details, and customer reviews. The shopping app is now available to consumers in the US, the UK, Germany, Sweden, Denmark, and Norway. Deloitte's recent report titled State of Ethics and Trust in Technology revealed a growing divide between the rapid adoption of generative AI and the lagging development of ethical principles guiding its use. The survey, featuring insights from over 1,700 business and technical professionals, found that while 74% of the respondents confirmed their companies are testing generative AI, 65% have already implemented it within their organizations. However, 56% of the executives say they are either unsure or completely unaware of their company's ethical standards when it comes to this technology. Data privacy emerged as another top ethical concern, with 22% of the executives citing it as their primary worry. The AI sector is the leading job market for Chinese university grads. According to a recent report by Leapin, a Chinese recruitment platform, China is currently witnessing an intense demand for AI talent 
particularly for generative AI skills, which is driven by the race to develop the next chat GPT. The average AI industry salary has surged more than 40% over the past three years in China, with fresh college graduates receiving the average monthly salary of $2,600 when entering the AI industry. Blockchain is the second leading sector, followed by elderly care services, aviation, aerospace equipment, and computer hardware. According to a study by the World Economic Forum, AI will create 97 million new jobs by 2025. That's it for the Edge of AI Dispatch today, your source for the latest news in cutting edge tech and artificial intelligence. This news segment has been powered by Metaverse Post. If you enjoyed today's dispatch, kindly subscribe, rate, and review us on the platform that you are hearing this. And if you want to dive deeper, check out our Edge of AI podcast featuring captivating conversations with top pioneers in the space. Also on Spotify, iTunes, and YouTube. We also invite you to visit edgeofai.xyz to learn more about us and get the direct links to follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. Tune in next time for targeted coverage on the most compelling stories in markets, industry, and culture.